morning, everybody. Welcome back. Um, today I just have a intermediate veil combination for you. So let's get right into it. Uh, so we're going to start with the veil behind, like so. Making sure I'm in the frame there. Hello. We're going to walk forward one, two, three, four, and back five, six, seven, eight. We're going to finish with the veil in this diagonal position here. Make sure there's some tension in your veil and that it's not slack like that. You're going to do one turn, two, three, four. You're going to switch quickly and the veil is going to switch to in front of you. So I'll show it to you full speed, but then you would turn six, seven, eight. All right, so let me show that to you faster. So you come overhead, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you do have to have a little bit of momentum to it. The arms do not change. You go from behind through towards you and in front. It's a wonderful little optical illusion. It looks harder than it actually is. Uh, it's just tricky. I don't know why. It's tricky to get that one. So then we are here. We've come around. You're going to kind of end in this position here. You're going to do one scoot back and you're going to notice that the left hand changes from the hip to the shoulder. So we go from here, scoop, and we're here. One more scoop back, let it fall in front of you. So, I mean, if you end up here, that's fine, but try your best to let the veil fall to the front. So then you're gonna do one more at the shoulder, and then we're gonna do a little bow right there. So I want you to notice, I'm not doing this, I'm not curling my back, and I'm not slouching with it, I'm actually bending my back leg keeping my forward leg straight, my tailbone is going at a 90, or at what is that, a 45? <laughs> I'm tired, I think a 45 degree angle, it's going at this angle, whatever that is, okay? Feel free to tell me in the comments what it is, so that you feel smart. Okay, and we're down. And then we're gonna come up again, up and up. So it's two to the back. And then we're in this position here, so we're gonna do a scoop to a windmill. So it's gonna go down, up, down, up, all right, last part is matador, coming out of that, two, three, four. So for matador, we're coming down, down, and then over the head and up. And with that, I like to do a basic scissor step. I think this is really helpful. It keeps your momentum rolling, and it also keeps your body away from the veil, so it's less likely to cling to you. So you're going one, two, three, four. So if I show that to you without my veil, one, two, three, four. It really, really helps. So let me know if you like doing that step with Matador. Also, a little side note to interrupt myself. We don't ever want to just dance like, yay, yay, look at my veil, it's my prop, it's so pretty. You have to dance with it, and the prop is, is accentuating your dance not the other way around. Don't let the prop be the star of the show. You're the star of the show. So adding this little step gives a little bit more dynamic. All right, so we're gonna do one to the front, to get back on track, one to the front, and then a little half turn, one to the back, and then you're gonna do one and a half turn in our goblet shape with the hands there. So that's really pretty. So instead of just holding your arms up, try to think of making like a little bit of a goblet shape and it just makes a really beautiful shape with the arms. And you can do as many turns as you want there, and then you can loop the combination. You could even reverse it if you want. But I'm just gonna show it to you one time through, and we're gonna keep it simple today. So let's do that with music. Here we go, over, and back. To your right, a little energy to go underneath. Good, scoop it back. And down, and then back, again, and going into our pinwheel. One more. Right into matador, into the back, and turn. Well done. Awesome, thank you. Let me know if you have any questions, and uh, tag me if you use this combo.